Welcome back to the show, everyone. Of course, this is the time of year in the western climes of Canada where people really start to feel that urge to run away from it all. And we have someone that can help you do that in amazing style. Absolutely. His name is Philippe Shelgren, and he is from the Kiwi Collection, which is uh, just a great concept. How are you, Philippe? Very good. Thank so you. tell us about the Kiwi Collection and what it is that you do. Well, we started a company about seven, eight years ago, and the idea was really to help um, consumers from around the world to find trusted advice. Yeah. You know, similar to if you think about a site like TripAdvisor, you know, people go there for advice, but you don't really know who has been there. You don't know the person. Well, and you're there. getting advice from people who supposedly stayed in these places and had an experience, but they exactly. don't necessarily have a level of expertise. Or, on... or something in common with yourself, right? right? So if you look at what we did, we took the time and effort. It's a hard effort, but we had to do it and stay in these beautiful, <laughs> places around the world and actually rate and review them on behalf of consumers. So your rates are, uh, well, your ratings uh, are only positive. When it's negative, what happens? We take them off. So we're, as far as we know, the only website in the world that actually excludes hotels on a regular basis. Just keeps it positive. I was going to say, and how often do you audit? Like, how often do you go back and, and visit and make well, sure that the standards are still it, there? It's a constant effort. So, so if you think about it, we have 2,200 hotels in 128 countries and we probably remove something like two or three hotels per week. Really? Uh, but uh, And then we add hotels. So, so high standards. Uh, very, very high standards. And it's, it's about the experience. So you can't, can't compare a very boutique, trendy hotel to a classic right. old, old castle. But it's the experience. And depending on who you are when you travel, you have different needs. Well, right? And that's what I love about the, the whole thing is, is the constant that runs through it is that idea of experience. Yes. You, know, you want mm -hmm. something that's a different way to travel from yeah. uh, you know, the way you may have before, an all-inclusive or whatever it is. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, there's so many amazing places. When I started the company, I thought I was a well-traveled guy. You know, I'd been to about 100 countries, etc. But when I, when I started doing the, the research, and uh, it's just unbelievable the amount of passion and money people put, yeah. to, put into these hotels. Now it's, let's it's dream remarkable. and look at some pretty pictures. Yeah. And the first place we're going to talk about is where you just got married, uh, a hidden gem. I'd never heard of it. Vieques Island? Yeah. It's, now where is this? It's an island off Puerto Rico. Uh, and um, for, um, you know, those of you uh, who have been to Puerto Rico, it's an island that used to be a military base back in the days. But yeah. it's, it's actually just uh, earlier this year, W opened a retreat, which is basically what other would call a resort. And it's yeah. the second retreat that they have. So it's a beautiful place. We, I chose it because it's a brand new destination, and I needed to sort of impress my friends with something they had no idea what it was. Right? <laughs> They'll expect this it. Is, yeah. It's probably hard yeah. to impress your wife yeah. And, yeah. and your friends. Well, now that's impossible. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that never works. But but uh, she loved the place, and we went there to uh, sort of uh, stage it out first, and uh, in yeah. in May, and then Tough we got research. married in in uh, in October. So well, and quite isolated. You were saying that that it's sort of because it's a little bit off the beaten yeah. path but you still get the luxury of the resort but but there's not you know there's not a lot of people no I mean it's the only real resort on the island there's some small sort of uh, you know B&B's and inns etc et on the island but the neat part is that you can take your Jeep you can pack it with a little picnic from Alain Ducasse you know the the, the chefs yeah. they have a restaurant there as well and you you go on on to this these d deserted uh, beaches I mean <laughs> you can drive right on to the beach and take there. your picnic Cal basket Cal take and, me and, away and, okay, Let's move on to the next Ready. one. Yeah. Uh, very, very popular Phuket. destination. Yeah, Phuket, Thailand. Tell us about this. Well, Phuket is becoming obviously an increasingly popular destination. But the, the property that I picked is Trisara. And the reason I picked it is that it's, it's sort of a, it's a fairly new, new resort. The, the fellow that, that runs the resorts, uh, Anthony Lark, he used to open the uh, Amman Resort mm -hmm. in, in Phuket, which is the most famous hotel yeah. in Phuket. But this one, I have to say is really, really something out of the ordinary. As you saw by the image, you have everyone has an, their own infinity pool. Uh, it's As it's they your should. own room. Yeah, exactly. Why why travel without an infinity pool? Exactly. That's what I say. Okay, Amazing. let's go uh, far away to Sydney. Uh, this looks beautiful here. Tell us about this property. Well, uh, th this property, uh, the establishment hotel, is actually um, it's a unique unique concept because it's all about you know restaurants and and bars. They have an amazing sushi restaurant and. Uh, but they also have a hotel with, um, I don't remember the exact number of rooms now, but it's, it's uh, sort of wow. uh, small, small Beautiful. Uh, number. It's, it's amazing. And it's uh, one of these, if you go to Sydney, everyone thinks about the opera, but mm -hmm. this is the place I would stay because yeah. it's unique. Well, and, and this is what I love about what
what you guys do as well. I mean, obviously you have places where you can, you know, be isolated and be on a beach somewhere. But when you're staying in a major metropolitan area, you're really good at finding those little hidden yeah. gems within yeah. a major absolutely. city. Absolutely, well. absolutely. Okay, nice. Madagascar. These photos make me want to go there. Now it's on my list. I want to go right here. Oh, it's yeah. on. <laughs> well, I, I actually lived in Madagascar for two and a half years growing up. So, well, you're so a tough guy to it's like. It's tough. You know, yeah. I've been talking to you for a little while. You know, it's please, you know, <laughs> any cocktail party, I'll be there. No problem. Uh, Madagascar is one of those destinations wow. that has a lot more than cartoons. It's it's That's actually breathtaking. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's untouched. This is an, an island where you have to take a boat for about 45 minutes off uh, the um, an island called Nosy Bay, uh, and it's it's an absolutely stunning place. With where if you really want to be left alone and you want to find something unique, then Nosy Sarabanjina it's what it's called, and it's absolutely unbelievable. I'm in. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, do resorts know when you're on your way, or or do you guys kind of sneak in and do a little covert? Uh, we, we do both, but. Uh, the, the interesting part with the company is really that we felt that uh, it was very important that we have a relationship with the hotels. So the general managers and the owners of all the hotels that we recommend, we have a rela personal yeah. relationship with. Mm -hmm. So we let them know we're coming. Please tell us what your hotel is really about so we can help you uh, yeah. put it on the map. If and, and we're honest with them and say if the hotel doesn't meet our, our set criteria and we rate 10 different what we call pillars of excellence, which is everything from, from service to rooms, etc. If they don't meet the expectation, we simply don't take it in. So they never have to worry about yeah. the bad review because then we don't say anything. And a great nice. motivation yeah. for them to maintain that level of service exactly, and that exactly, standard for customers. Exactly. Now, we're out of time, so we're not going to be able to go to Cote d'Azur or okay. Paris. Oh, but oh. guess what? Yeah. You can go to the website to find out more about Kiwi Collection and uh, quickly tell us about the books, too, because they're a beautiful gift for someone to dream. Yeah, the, these are uh, three coffee table books, Overnight Sensations, what we jokingly say it's a true overnight overnight sensation because you have to stay <laughs> one night to experience it. So, uh, so, uh, I love it. Uh, Same divided ball. into the Americas, Middle East, Africa and Asia Pacific. Yeah, and they're stunning coffee table books with short stories and beautiful stunning images. They're so sold, they're, they're sold on Amazon and other destinations. So Excellent, it's Philippe. Thank gift. you so much. Yeah, Thanks uh, for having me. Who pleasure. doesn't want to go to a beach right now, people? Go uh, to the go website the, to find more info. I was going to say, go on to the website and look up the two that we didn't talk about, Cote d'Azur and Paris. They are just... Both of them stunning properties. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we're going to have a fashion show from Loot Boutique right after this.